Along the shores of Tottenville, New York, and New Jersey, baykeepers, in conjunction with the Governor's Office for Storm Recovery, have deployed an acoustic Doppler current profiler, or ADCP, to study the wave patterns for the upcoming Living Breakwaters project. The ADCP records valuable monthly data that is sent to labs for creation of a living barrier ecosystem, something that could safeguard from future damaging tidal surges. So once the ADCP unit is brought up, uh, we connect it via Bluetooth to the laptop, which has um, a, a special software on it, basically, that will then download the data from the um, ADCP unit and process it. Um, that takes about an hour. Um, it's a good chunk of data on there, about a month. And then from there, um, I'm able to go through and put a report together that then goes back to state. This is computer mo uh, module right here. We'll be lifting that out and then uh, downloading it. We're cleaning it, downloading, changing the batteries. Right here, it's got a, uh, a switch that tells us, that tells the unit to start uh, uh, downloading. So when we push this, it connects with the computer, so hopefully we'll be downloading. Scape is the company that will be creating eco-friendly concrete barriers to combat a dominant wave pattern, which according to the data collected by the ADCP device, is from the southwest. Senior Program Manager Alex Zabaki explains how the project will be implemented. The breakwaters are engineered um, in a way to attenuate waves um, that are coming primarily from the southwest direction. Uh, so it's meant to break down the wave action uh, for storms like Sandy or lower level storms we've seen in Irene or other tropical storms in nor'easters and prevent erosion um, and help rebuild the shorelines of sand. 